Okay, just wanted to show you real quick the vanity lights that I got in that Amazon package order that I showed you in the last video. So I ordered them for these two black mirrors that I have since I couldn't put my rose gold vanity stand up, which comes with the these type of light bulbs in it. So I thought, okay, why don't I just put them on my two black mirrors, which will look really, really nice. And I could do my makeup there. If I ever put my rose gold stand back up, I have that option. And of course I can always do, do it in the bathroom, but I really wanted these lights for both of my black mirrors. And I finally got it. My daughter put them up, she set it up. So they're like 10 on each mirror. I believe you have four, eight, nine, ten. So they're ten. So I ordered two boxes. I'll put a clip of the picture of the order so you can see exactly the name of it, how much I paid for it, all that good stuff. So if you want them for your mirrors or your one mirror or whatever, um, you know how to order it and all that good stuff. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to turn off the light. Okay, looks like that right now. There's a switch here. They each have a switch that comes down and it's like a control. So, oh, there it is. And if I hold it up, it goes, I'm trying to see how it goes down. Okay. So it goes really, really bright. I'm trying to make it go down. My daughter taught me how to do this, so I'm trying to figure it out. So I think, I don't know if you can see it, it's going down. So it went up really bright, and then when I do it again, it starts to go dimmer. And then if I press it really quick, it turns off. Press it really quick, it turns on. So it doesn't look clear in my camera. Let me try another clip. Okay, so when I was showing you these vanity lights that I ordered from Amazon and how happy I was that I ordered them because look how good they look on there and I was showing you how they worked, how the changes of going up bright and coming down dimmer and how you turned it off and on and how amazing they made my black mirrors look plus the whole thing of me being able to do my makeup in my room again with some good lighting just made a world of difference. I'm so, so, so happy. My daughter is the one, like I was telling you, she's the one that put them on there for me. She's so talented. So anything I need done, I have her do it because I know it comes out perfect. And so I'm very happy with that. But when I was telling you about those vanity lights, I was telling you about some things in my room that I wasn't happy where they were at. Um, one of them being my makeup vanity dresser that was in my closet. It was okay. It wasn't like the worst thing in the world. Um, I could still have access to it. It was right in front of me. I still had access to it. It didn't look horribly bad in the closet. It wasn't like it was hidden. I had to go around and try to open the doors. No, I had complete access to open the doors as far as they come out. It's, it looked not bad for being in the closet, but I just wasn't happy. And I didn't know how that happened when I've changed my room around so many times. And it's been the way that it is now. And how did that dresser end up in the closet? And I think in my mind, what I was trying to do was not put it where there was space available because that space that I was thinking about is right when you come in the room and you go towards the left, which is going towards the closet. You had to go around it because it kind of sticks out. And I just wanted it to be like an open space and not feel claustrophobic-ish. When my husband had to go to his side of the closet or I had to go to my side of the bed or my side of the closet, it didn't bother me, but I thought it would bother my husband having it like to go around to get to his side of the closet. And I thought, oh my God, he's not gonna like it. So I was trying to spare him the trouble, but in the meantime, I was not like happy. I wanted, I bought my new furniture and revamped my entire room with all new matching furniture for a reason, for it to look beautiful, for me to feel happy and comfortable with it. No matter which way I changed the room around, I was always happy and comfortable and, I just love looking at my furniture, knowing everything was so beautiful and organized and just all that good stuff. I want it to be out and about to where it shows, you know, where it's on display and and that I could get even a better reach to it. So it kept bothering me. So I finally this morning, I couldn't take it. So I took it out of the closet and I put in that space that I'm talking about that I thought my husband would have a hard time like... This is kind of a little tight to go around, but no, he came home. He hasn't said anything, whether yes, no, I like it, don't like it. Um, so obviously he's okay with it because if he's not okay with something, he will definitely tell you. I mean, he would be like, you know, 
<sighs> that's a little just like when I go on, he would say something to the fact, like when I go in the room, oh my God, there's this thing, you know, right to my left and it's right next to my closet side and it's just a lot to go around. He would say something like that, but if you really want it there, that's fine. But he would voice, you know, how clovophobic it is or how uncomfortable or you know, whatever his concern is, but he didn't. So that means he must be okay with it. But I still want to know what he thinks. I was kind of waiting him to say it on his own. But I know that if he didn't say anything, that he's okay with it. So I'm happy about that. Um, so I'm going to show you where I put it, how it all looks. And I also changed where my rose gold vanity um, suitcase, if you want to call it that, um, where I put that at and where I put my armoire jewelry um, organizer or big mirror jewelry, jewelry case, um, the one with the mirror that stands where I put that at, and I even change the dress suits that go right along here. So let me show you how that looks. Okay, so the normal light in my room is off, which is what I usually do at night. I usually just put one of the lamps on, whether it's my side or my husband's side. Right now, my husband's not in here. He fell asleep on the recliner watching TV. So I put on my side. If he comes in and he wants to do some reading or whatever, he'll turn his on and then he'll turn it off right before he goes to sleep. But for now, he's not in here, so my side is on. And that's enough lighting for me to show you the changes that I made. So let's get started. So since I'm facing this way, you see my jewelry armoire um, stand is right here now. And in that corner was the rose gold vanity case, which is right here now. So I completely, and this is where my makeup vanity was. So now, since I took up my makeup vanity out, now I put that case inside with a bag that I have with some important stuff. And I put my laundry basket in there, which is nice. So now my laundry basket isn't out and about sticking out. It's not bad looking, but it just seems like it goes perfect in the closet where all the furniture should be out and not like the hamper. So this worked out perfect. I never thought of putting my hamper in my closet. So it's perfect space, nothing is tight, it's not too much. My clothes can come back over to the side. Now my clothes have space where it was all crammed up like this back there. And this was all crammed up here so that the makeup vanity was about this tall goes all the way down, could fit in here. And so that was bothering me too, that my clothes were crammed up on each side and I had a hard time getting to them. So now I just haven't put it completely close back. I haven't had time just to move it over, but this is what's gonna happen. So now my clothes can fit perfectly and loosely. So it was big changes even in the closet. So, but I'm liking it. Everything looks nice and organized and neat and so, yeah, so that's where the rose gold case was, which was right here, right next to my nightstand. It was right here, so now it's in there. Um, I still haven't figured out how to open it up, put it on its legs, and have it somewhere in the room, but that's okay. That I'll still try to figure that out, because I know me, but it's fine the way it is. I, I'm pretty sure I'll keep it that way for a while. Um, but my jewelry armoire fit perfectly in this spot, like it was made for it, and when I had my bed with the headboard coming from the window and my nightstand was over there. That's where the jewelry armor was, was right next to my nightstand. So it's the same thing, just now it's on this side. So it was the perfect fit and I knew that would be in my frames, still fit perfectly. I might put um, my beauty college graduation diploma um, a little bit more up and my cosmetology license a little bit more up. That might be the only change I make but it looks so good. And at nighttime, my bed is usually completely dressed, but at nighttime, right before I know my husband's getting ready to go to bed, I bring down the blanket and the and the middle blanket and the top bedding. I roll it down so he could just crawl in bed. And yeah, and I take my decorative pillows off and put them away for the nighttime. So that's one change, or you can say two changes, right there, the closet and the jewelry armor. And that make a vanity, remember that? that was right there. In fact, I might just put a real clip, real quick clip of how it looked, whether a photo or a video, I'll put something up so you can see the before. Um, 
and now it's right here. This was an empty space, and what was right here was that green hamper. So you still had to go around something, but it wasn't too bad. It was short, it was pushed back, so it wasn't too bad, but you still had to go around something. So I figured, okay, it can't be that horrible. And we still, I figured out how to have enough space by coming in because the furniture was different on this side, so it made it a little bit smaller walkway, and that was kind of bugging me as well, but I'll show you how I figured that out. But yeah, and I thought, I hear I have this empty, perfectly sized space for my makeup vanity dresser, where I can put my brushes and my makeup palettes and have it be a part of the overall furniture. It just has to work. So I moved it, and I thought, okay, let me put as closest to the closet, but staying in that space so that I can have a little bit more space over there and it's perfectly fit over here as you can see it's nowhere near in front of the closet so look how pretty it looks out here amongst all the furniture so I loved it cleaned it off as you know I'm always every day I dust off my furniture especially with black furniture everything shows and I like it to be nice and dusted off Fresh, so I'll dust it off and then I'll take a wipe and I wipe them down. And so I was able to put my brushes, which this stuff was on my long Ikea dresser. So I was able to put my brushes back on there. Oh, that's another change. Remember um, that my stereo that I had bought was on top of this vanity inside the closet. Well, it's still inside the closet, but I made space for it up here. So I kind of put things, certain things away in the storage. This is my storage bin where I put everything that I don't use or that's seasonal or that I'm not using right now or not feeling right now, whatever, that's my storage bin. So the stuff that was here, I just kind of moved it over and organized it over here and then put some stuff in the storage. So I was able to keep the stereo on top of the shelf right here. So it used to be right here on top of the makeup vanity dresser. So I'm still able to put it there, still has a connection so I can play my music, it's perfect. Maybe I'll figure out how to put it out here in the furniture, but it's no need. It's perfect the way it is. Um, but yeah, so now on here, I'm able to put my brushes, all my brushes. I have a big old makeup brush collection right here, and I have more than this. Um, so I was able to put that there and my palettes that I had on my dresser here. So it looks really nice, really nice. And so I'm excited. This right here... I think for moving the furniture around a lot, it's scuffed up, but I went to the store to get, today I can't talk, it's really late at night, to get um, furniture, a marker that's for exclusively for furniture. And they didn't have black. All they had was a bunch of brown tones, but they didn't have black. So I'm waiting to find that. Maybe I'll look on Amazon, see if they have it. Use that black, it's exclusively for furniture. And it looks like Sharpies, and just to fill that in. I think from moving and having oils or things in your hand, it kind of put off, but it'll be good again. <laughs> and so over here, if you remember correctly, this long dresser was more over here, like all the way to where this Chester drawer ends. And then next to that was that jewelry armoire was next to it. So what we did is we did a switcheroo. Okay, now scratch that. <laughs> Oh my God, this is so funny. But you were just seeing the clip. I, I was telling you how I recently changed my room around again. And I have changed my room around that way before. There was only one slight different and everything always worked. But for some reason, it did not work. And I was showing you how I had to put my makeup vanity in the closet. And it looked good and worked good for a minute. But I felt like cheated. I felt like, no, I bought that to be a part of the whole furniture ensemble. I bought all new furniture the same time. And I had my vision of my color scheme, my vision of the design that I wanted, you know, and I bought it all at the same time. And that was a part of it. That makeup vanity meant a lot to me. And I didn't want to be hiding it in a closet and no longer be a part of the whole furniture um, ensemble. So it bugged me. So I was showing you how I changed it to here, because this was the only space available. But as you can see, from that space to the door in this dresser, it took away a lot of space because it comes out a lot. And so I thought my husband was gonna take it worse. I thought he was gonna say, this is too claustrophobic. 
this angle is just too little. I cannot take it. But he was like, Carmen, if it makes you happy and you're comfortable, I support you 100%. Yes, it's a little tight and kind of scary to walk through, especially when we sleep at night, but I'll get used to it. So the thing is that you're happy, and I appreciated that so much because I really thought he was going to say, I just can't. I just can't. I'm so sorry. But nope, 100% supportive as always. And so we tried it for like, oh God, maybe a few days, almost a week. Yeah, something to that effect. Let's see. I have to check out. I think it was almost a week. And I just can do it because at night, I'm not going to turn on the light to wake up my husband. He has to get up early in the morning to go to work. So I had a cap. I had to keep feeling my way around the dresser because the top part of it has some sharp corners and I ran into it and I scratched my arm up and I had to feel my way around and squeeze all the way around just to be safe. And it and I get up a lot through the night because I drink water all day long. So I'm always getting up in the middle of the night and it was just so scary and so uncomfortable. And I was like, I can't. I just can't. I have to be happy. I have to be comfortable. And I'm not. It looked really beautiful there. And if there was most, more space, no problem. But it wasn't more space. So I made a change. <laughs> so I finally said, okay, I'm going to change my room back to the way it was for the most part. There might be a few odd changes, but I'm going to change it back. I'm going to have my window headboard by the window. Um, did I see my window headboard? My bed frame headboard by the window. And that's the way I usually keep it during the whole summer because it's so hot. And with the headboard being by the window, we get that fresh air at night. And so I always keep it this way at night. I don't know what possessed me to change it to the other wall when I only do that during fall or winter. <sighs> you know, or maybe even spring, but not really. That wall is using my fall and winter look and the headboard being by the window is my spring and summer look. So, but I was feeling I wanted something different. And so I changed it, trying to get a different look again, you know, at least for a little bit, but it didn't work out. So I'm happy that my headboard is by the window so we could get that fresh air again. Um, it gave, of course, the room more space and now I could put my vanity in a place where it does not bother me and I don't have to be scared about it. The things that stayed the same was this, which I've had this room this way before, except these two dressers. This chest of drawer has never been by the door. It's always been by the wall. And this long dresser has always been closer to the door or on the, or on the opposite side of the wall. So that change, that new change stayed. We really liked it that way. So it's not 100% the same way that I've done before because there's that minor change, but it's 99% the same. So the vanity that used to be here, I'm going to show you where I put it. So ta-da! My headboard is back in front of the window, which it is supposed to be. It is summer. It is in the hundreds. How dare I make that change that I've never done before. When fall and winter come, it'll be a different story, but I like it this way. This is the way it's supposed to be, so yeah. So my nightstands, you've seen my room this way before. My nightstands are back here. This is my husband's side. This is my side. You can tell I have all the electronics and my Apple Watch over there, and he has his phone charging and his medications and lotions and stuff. So yeah, so we put that back. We still have this that we just did the same because we really liked it this way. This was a great new change. So we have our Chester drawer with the TV, which is my husband's dresser, next to the door. Look at all that space we have. Look, all this space we have, which is the entrance, and I love it. And then we have the dresser over here, which I love it. Um, the thing that I did have to change this side used to be my three drawers, and that side was my husband's three drawers. But because he complained before that he couldn't pull the drawers out completely and that bothered him, I switched drawers with him. So now those drawers are my three drawers, and these are his three drawers, so he could put it all the way out. I don't need mine's all the way out. It still comes out good enough. 
but that's all I need right there. I'm good for this type of stuff that I have in these drawers. That's perfect for me. But he does need his to come out. So he loved that. And I'm so glad I thought about that. But now the vanity is over here on my side of the bed, which I love my stuff to be on my side of the bed. If I could put that dress on my side of the bed, I would. But it's not just mine. It's both of ours. We each have a mirror, um, which he does not need the vanity lights. But... He has a mirror if he has to look in there and brush his hair or whatever. He does have a mirror, but they had to be even with vanity lights. And it looks so nice. So he's like, you don't know that. I might need that light. You know, something might be in my eye or something. I'm like, that's true. He's, al he's always getting something in his eye. So he goes, I could use that light. Of course I could use LED lights. And he goes, of course people think that's feminine, but for the beauty of it and the look of it, yes. But I can sure use it you know so don't mind that do your thing so yep so then now this is my side and I had all this free space so I decided to put my armoire there which that's never been there it used to be in the corner next to my nightstand and I could put it back there but I kind of liked it here to give it a little change then our fan is there where my hamper used to be here the last time I had my room this way. So nope, I have my fan, which is black. It matches the whole bedroom furniture ensemble. Perfect. My mint green hamper does not have to be out here. They're in the closet where they're supposed to be and they're looking good. My makeup vanity dresser is here. And of course, my brushes and my palettes are there. And then I was able to even put back up my rose gold vanity system here i don't know what you call it it's a vanity um pull-up dresser i don't know i'm gonna find out the exact name but you're supposed to travel with this so if you go on vacation or weekend trip and you're staying in a hotel or somebody's house and they don't have good lighting or whatever you put, take this as a suitcase and put all your makeup and all your brushes and all the stuff you're gonna need hairsprays hair brushes hair tie everything you need for hair and makeup and you put it in here you put it back together like a suitcase, take the legs off, and you set it up again in your hotel or whatever house you're staying at so you can have the lighting that you like and that you need. Um, but I like it display, and I'll do that if I have to. If I go on vacation, I'll definitely take it down and take it with me. But I like it to be a part of the furniture. It just has to be. I was missing it in the closet. It fit perfect in the closet, but I was missing it. I just love the beauty of it. I love furniture to show its beauty, to show... It's look, that's what you buy furniture for, not to hide it. And so I was missing this as well. So I was able to put it up and here are my lights again. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I had a lot of brushes and makeup in here, but when I put it away, I took all that out. But I did leave my new set of brushes that I got for Christmas. It was a set of all kinds of different brushes and combs and hair ties and clips. I left that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-put some brushes in here, some makeup in here, probably some hairspray and the curling iron and stuff in here. So I could do my makeup as well. And that was my chair. My daughter was keeping it in her room for me. Um, but it just pulls out. Kind of dirty in her room. I'm trying to pull it out with one hand. So it pulls out. And then I sit on it. Hold on. So see, it pulls out and I could sit on it and do my makeup. And then when I'm done, I could just push it back under and it's out of the way. And it's like that again. I think she got it a little dirty in her room. I'm going to wipe it down. But yeah, there's my beauty college graduation photos, my beauty college graduation certificate and my license. Um, so yeah, and I still have space. I have some corner space over there. It's plenty of room to walk through with my whole body, not having to curve around anything. So yeah, so isn't that nice? That free space, love it. Um, maybe I'm thinking of maybe hanging something there, but that's about it. There's a closet with my hamper, my stuff in it. My um, turntable and Bluetooth stereo system is still up there, which is great. It works good up there. I want my makeup and brushes to be here. I don't want a stereo to be on top. So it works good. And I can play music and people don't, not knowing where that music is coming from. So it's kind of cute. But yeah, so that is the most recent, the newest setup. I am completely and utterly happy and comfortable with it. This is exactly what I want. 
So sorry to take you through that previous clip, but I'm kind of glad that you saw the difference and how I changed my mind. So yeah, I took you on a little journey <laughs> there. Look at my Dennis the Menace little piece of hair up. I have my hair in a clip. I'm about to go take a shower and go to bed. No, I'm gonna do my keto meal shake first or meal smoothie first. And then I'm gonna rest, see a couple of YouTube videos, probably upload a video, see some TV, catch up on the news, all that good stuff. Then I'm gonna take a shower, then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> my husband is not here right now. He's sleeping on the recliner. He always falls asleep. He has dinner, then he falls asleep on the recliner. So I haven't pulled on the bed yet. I'm so glad that I didn't upload that video because I would have had to do a part two and I hate doing part twos. I would have had to do a whole and been, that's a waste of video. You just changed everything right after you. So sometimes I like to take my time and make sure that I'm 100% satisfied with the video before I put it up and I'm glad that I realized that that change needed to be done and I'm so happy. So yep, that's about it. I don't think I have anything else to add to this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and going on this moving around furniture, bedroom revamp, whatever you wanna call it with me. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and put, push that notification bell because that's the only way you get heads up on every time I upload a video. But tell me, what do you think? Do you like it? It works much better, I think. So I don't think nothing's gonna change. It better not because I'm super 100% happy. So, but you know, I always let you know if there's any update or changes and I take in all the journeys with me. So I hope you liked and didn't mind that switch. But yep, so thank you so much for watching and to my next video, take care.